Debbie Cade, Secretary from Washington. Richard Jacobs, Treasurer from Tennessee. Lori Seagraves, Assistant Secretary from Florida. Eric Jurgensen, Auditor from Utah. Great. Terry Campo, Legal Counsel, Illinois. Well, Springfield. Almost your area. Keith Kelbach, Assistant to the Chairman from Indiana. Andreas Michaels, assistant to the chairman from Maryland. Bill Herring, assistant to the chairman from West Virginia. Good to see you. Good to see you. Brian Berry, press secretary from Maryland. Hello, nice to meet you. Cheryl Hillen, our executive director. Hello, Good to see you. This is such a pleasure to be with you today. We're going to do a group bottle. I'm afraid to move my Everybody looking at the camera. That's good. Thank you, sir. That's what I always do. Those reflections come back. I don't see a face with two little things from the front. Yeah. You're the kind they can't see. I am not my kind. A lot of technology. I know. That's this thing. That's the way you put it. What? It's the intellectual. That's my problem. very near sighted. And now, you know, as your eyes, when you 
begin to leave the age of young Republicans and just become one of the old Republicans. And that's when your lie lens begins to crystallize, and that's when you would get hold of the phone book out here. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to At last, there's a little compensation, because uh, you actually, when that happens, your vision is not quite as nearsighted. You get them on your side. But at the same time, you find that without corrective lenses, then you can read the phone book up this close. That's so right, Mr. Proud, that's right. With that. That's and uh, so I figured out something. I have contact lenses. They work just fine. I've them for years. But I, when I have to go over and read a speech, when I use some notes for the speech, I just have to take one to go. And I find that I can take one lens out leave the other one in. And this lens will read the notes, and this lens will see who's out there. Let's see who's out there. I think we, guess, need, uh, we need some lens for the Democrats in the Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, we want to tell you how much we are supporting your contra aid. Oh, we, we think it's terrific. We're doing some things in the states. We just sent out a packet to the state chairman. We're doing things on the Hill while we're here this week. You tell us, what else can we do? Well, that is it, because I have to tell you, I'm the little, the little while I'm reading them, another group of Democratic senators, but even our own and our own Republicans, this disinformation campaign, that's true, so that's, that's exactly what it is. Well-meaning people, they tell me about their districts, they say, in my district, and they tell me how the people feel, and in church, the people feel that we're all wrong, and it is all disinformation. That's true. We've just come from the State Department, and hearing from the three men, two of them, interpreters. One of them was a San Benito, was a El Salvador communist guerrilla at one time, and totally converted by what he saw them doing. And here he is, willing to speak out. The second one was the Minister of Interior for the Sandinista government, and he just turned totally around. And the third one was a black man from Nicaragua. And uh, you always see the little <coughs> stubby second nails coming out. They torn all his fingers in jail. And he went out. I did not know they had a black like, community there, but they moved in on that just as they moved in on the religious groups. Mm -hmm. And into jail uh, with all of them. But to hear them and their experiences, and then they had a big display of the weapons. The Nicaraguans are providing for all of the radicals throughout Latin America. As a matter of fact, in my speech Sunday night, I'm going to show a map where Nicaragua has put rebels, or put weapons in the hands of rebels in all of the three South American countries. Unacceptable. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, uh, I don't know, they, they are the victims of misinformation. You know? That's exactly what it is. We're hopeful to, to educate a few on our side. I that's think right. we've got to work on our people first. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, one of the things that's happening in the campuses, too, is there are an awful lot of faculty members who 20 years ago were the rioters on the that's campus. Right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And uh, these congressmen come in and say, well, that's just so and so cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 We were talking in exchange with the Soviet Union of students and everything else. People get better acquainted and then they came to be an exchange of professors. <laughs> and I said, yeah, but how are we going to protect the Soviet <laughs> <laughs> being communist and doctors? <laughs> 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 now let's get you up on the hill while you still have time. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hurricane Quinn, Mr. President. Hi. Hi. President, Hi. President Hi. of the National Press Club. Well, that's a great pleasure. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I hope you'll have a chance to. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. President, when you, when you speak with the club, you're familiar with our format. And questions are only asked in writing, so Sam Donaldson will be out there shouting questions. So you might want to keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. No, I, it's been quite a while since I spoke here, but I do remember that format. I think you were in the You've been there since. No, that's right. I own one. <laughs> we'll work on it. You've got witnesses here. Really? Well, no. Well, it's, uh, I've decided it's a test of my sense of humor. Every uh, 
every day something happens that uh, makes me realize that if I didn't have a sense of humor, I'd be in big trouble. Like the time I tried to explain to the lady who didn't want to co-sponsor an event with the International Bodybuilders Association. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham Lincoln said the same thing. Did he really? Yes, and people picked on him for laughing and joking and so forth. And he said, if I couldn't laugh in this job, I couldn't do that this job for 15 minutes. Well, I think that's true of almost any leadership position, <laughs> but especially yours. These are uh, quite a few targets which we partially think that we would shoot. This particular one is a distinguished match. This was shot by uh, Charlie North here. And he won this particular match. It's a 595 of a possible 600 with five rounds or after nine rounds. What can we do? This would be a 38, and uh, just getting the out there, and I'm going to take a look at it. I was wondering if they could be No, sir. That would be the one that he used to win the particular death match. I've got, a, I've got a few guns out there at the ranch. I like to have them around. And uh, I remember once when the unit commander came and was a little concerned about not having a gun in the bedroom because he said some of our fellows dress pretty raunchy when they're out here. And I said, I'm honest, I would shoot one of them. <laughs>
Mr. Lawrence Howard. I would like to present this to you. Oh, for heaven's sake, thank you. Oh, hey, I'm very proud to have that. They said that you were their tutor, sir, and that was the reason. <laughs> well, that was my old stamping ground. I was a sports announcer in Des Moines, Iowa, several years, a long time ago. Well, thank you very much. I'm proud to have that. Any other guns? There's another. This is an undercover match. The uh, maximum barrel length is two and three quarters inches. Again, this would be a maximum of 25 yards, and he also cleaned the target. He has no rounds or outside the camera. You're getting yeah. a little humble, John. Yes, sir. Looking at these targets, I'm getting a little humble. Ah, oh, you don't have to, sir. <laughs> I, 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 can be, I can vouch for whatever you say. <laughs> This would be the weapon. The weapon we use on this, on this, Mr. President, it's a standard issue a Secret Service weapon. And the uh, barrel length is what characterizes this match. It has to be less than two and three quarter inch. Using regular uh, service 38 ammunition. Worked on by Secret Service armor, of course. Correct. <laughs> there's, there's a group, Mr. President. These, this is a series of targets here is the, uh, the individual course that we would shoot is broken into five different matches. This one was fired by Bruce Curtis. It's a perfect score of 24 X's at times, a national record for that. And this would be at 7 to 15 yards. This is also his target. The national record for this is 180 18 X. He has 180 17 X. Just missed the national record by one X on that. That's at 25 yards, total of 18 rounds. This is at 50 yards. <coughs> Excuse me. This is... Uh, my target for match three is two points down out of a two to possible 240, it's 238. Uh, this also mines match four, again, 240, 24X, 240-23X is a national record, it's a 240-18X, I believe. Placed about X around the second or third in the match. And this is uh, Sergeant Milborn's target. This basically is what he wound up winning the nationals with. This is a one point down match five. Possible 600 score, it was a 599. Sergeant Milborn also was the first person, this is several years ago, to ever fire a perfect 600 in a match five. And this one, the match he wore, he was uh, behind a few people at this point, but this one, he gave him the win. And this is the 50 yards, uh, 24 rounds, except it's 50 yards, and other parts of the 25 and 750, or 70. Ray Shattuck said he could fire the score any time. <laughs> 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 With a rifle, maybe. As a matter of fact, Sergeant Milborn was behind me until he shot this. <laughs> well, well, by golly, proud of all the good as I say, I feel very safe <laughs> and secure. Terry was thinking that maybe we ought to do a group photo and have the targets in front, possibly, if you want to do that. If each man could just grab.